welcome to see me here when you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we're going to change it up a little bit. Today we are going to give you 11 days of horror. That's right. Each day we will focus on a franchise that deals with Halloween or is Halloween themed. And we will give you our best and our worst film from that franchise. So for the rest of October, you got us. Day five of our 11 days of horror. Woo. We have to talk about the franchise Saw. Now, Saw for me is by far my favorite horror franchise. Uh, I think this franchise has a lot of strong films, actually, considering that they also have a few bad ones, really bad ones. Uh, and for me, you know, my favorite film is actually not the first film. I don't really? Think. I don't think so. It's, I always kind of go back and forth. Uh, and so I have no problem here to say today that Saw 2 is my favorite film. Uh, what I like about the first one, and I'll just talk about the first one very quickly, you know, James Wan directed, James Wan, amazing actor, legend also in the horror industry. Uh, we got great acting, really good acting, not only from Danny Glover, but from the rest of the cast as well, right? What Saw 2 gave us that we didn't really get a lot in the first one was just more traps, right? That's what we're here to see. And, you know, the first one, we got to understand the killer, we got to understand his game, but the second one just says that now we are going to build this world and we are going to give you all the traps with more of the creativity and killing that you that you want from this franchise. And the second one does it excellently. And I have to go with Saw 1. I have to go with Saw 1 with one of the best twists in any, in any horror movie, any of them. Saw one, you are shocked and awed at the end of that movie. And yes, you didn't get the all of the elaborate traps that you start to get down the line, but you get that moment where you say, "What the just happened? What great. just happened?" You almost made me want to change. <laughs> like what? Like what? Like, like you literally like, like you have to watch it twice. You have to watch it back to back just to so you can start to see like, oh my god, like. It was like this the whole time. Man. Yes, yes, it was like that the whole time. And that is why Saw 1 is one of the best horror movies of all time, but also the best movie in this franchise for me. Yeah. And now that he said that, my favorite movie is actually Saw 1. <laughs> <laughs> they can go back and forth. Like, really, and I, I just want to say this before I talk about my worst mm -hmm. film. Like, the first three are, like, so good. They all just fit together in this nice, neat, pack nice, neat package. Uh, and I can even accept Saw 4 at times. Saw 4 has a really good pace. Uh, but after that, we get into this area I don't want to go. Uh, and like I said, Saw 2 was my favorite just because I get more traps. Well, here's an example of when more traps are bad. Saw 3D, right? Really commercial, really gimmicky. They throw every trap in the book at you. <laughs> Uh, I actually went to the movies on Halloween. This came out on Halloween, I remember. Saw this in 3D, and I just remember sitting through that whole movie going, what am I watching? This is awful. The only reason I go back and watch that film is because the story does tie in. All the stories are, you know, in order chronologically, except for Jigsaw, of course, because that's the prequel. But all the stories follow one another. They're all connecting the dots. And so, literally, the only reason I watch that movie is just to get the story, because the traps... The acting, it is all at its worst in this franchise with Saw 3D. I think you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Saw 3D is by far the worst. And I'm not going to rehash everything you said. I'm just going to say this. And I'm going to kind of keep it simple and keep it quick with this. Anytime a franchise put the words or letters 3D, letters and numbers, 3D at the end of their movie, nine times out of ten is bad. No. <laughs> There's not too many movies that say something, 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 3D. <laughs> where I say, I cannot wait to see it. When I see those last little uh, two letters and words at the end of the world, I'm, I'm cool. I know I'm in for something that's going to be bad. Not only was the trap so over the top, and they tried to utilize the 3D. I'm like, I don't need none of this. I, the, the, the traps in this movie are a focal point, but I think the story and, and how Jigsaw places everything and everybody is what makes these movies so good. And 3D was too much about the traps and not enough about the great story that we like from the first Two or three movies, depending on who you ask. That completes our favorite and least favorite films from the Saw 
franchise. I just want to also shout out, I shout out James Wan earlier. I also want to shout out uh, Leigh Warnell and Tobin Bell. Without you two, this franchise wouldn't be as awesome. Love the franchise, guys. Good job. And you got to, you got to, you got to let us know what are your favorite Saw films. We just want to know. We really do. Because we care about what you think, and I know you care about what we think, so it's just a happy marriage in the comments below. And as always, don't forget, you seen it here. I want to play a game. Yeah. <laughs>